Hello, and welcome to my first story time. Oh boy, like that hasn't been done a thousand times before. If you're an artist, you most likely have or will get your artwork stolen. Not like I want that to happen. I know at least one time I have recalled where my artwork was stolen. It only gets worse. Usually a lot of times most artists talk about digital artwork and yeah, it, the internet's a huge place so I understand why they're making a big deal about it. Now me, I'm the reason why I got my own dang artwork stolen. And oh yeah, just to mention, it's not digital either. It was on paper. And I can hear you asking... Why the hell did you get your artwork stolen when it was on paper? Well, if you want to listen to how this happens, sit back, relax, and let's get this story started. So let me go back in time to the year 2009. Oh, I didn't mean for that to rhyme. Oh god, please somebody stop me. Anyways. And the beginning of the school year, which would make me in the 8th grade. History class. I was horrible in it. The worst subject for me. And I would love not to do any work in it, which was awesome if, when I didn't have to. Anyways, I uh, remember our class was actually uh, assigned seats and tables. Yeah, my school was kind of poor. We didn't usually have a lot of desks for each classroom, or maybe Teachers didn't like the desk. I wasn't quite sure. Anyways, I remember at my table, I had two girls. One I'd never seen before, and she, I guess that was her first year at my school. Her name will be Brittany. And I'm only, I don't really want to give out real names because I have a feeling somebody's going to find her and harass her somehow, and I don't want that to happen. And the other one I knew for a long time, actually since elementary school. Her name will be Shelby. I like Shelby. Shelby's a pretty name. Anyways, going back, we were sitting in history class and our teacher decides us to make us work in our tables since most of the answers were pretty easy so we just had to divide up the work. So I remember we got the best person who had the best handwriting, which wasn't me surprisingly, to write all the questions and write all the answers. And the two other girls, me and Brittany, would um, divide the questions and look up for the answers and then give the answers to Shelby and then she would write the answers down. That was, it was pretty simple. And so, again, as I said before, we it was pretty easy questions so the answers weren't really hard to find. So I remember that after we got finished, I was such a great mood, I decided to pull out my notebook, yes, line paper since I didn't really have a drawing notebook, and decided to draw. So I remember that I was drawing and then Brittany looked over at what I was doing and complimented my drawing. I was just so happy, like it made my day. I have never been complimented before. So I smiled and said thank you. After finishing the drawing, I thought since she was new and she liked it, I'd think maybe give her a welcoming gift? I don't know. She seemed like a good person who wouldn't do anything to hurt me. I know. I was wrong. And I signed my name and got her attention and asked if she wanted it. She gladly took it. And of course Shelby saw me give it to her. I forgot to say that I didn't even eat it or anything. Well, the reason why I didn't think about it since i had been bullied by almost everybody in school. And I'm not exaggerating by that. They knew my drawing skills as well. So, like, my drawing skills was like a basic trait personality. So, she couldn't really claim it as hers. So, in my school, we have a system where we have seven classes, and every day would either be even or odd besides Monday, where we would actually have all the classes. So, I did this drawing on Monday. And I think history class was actually the sixth hour, sixth period, whatever you want to call it. And it was, it would land on a Wednesday because that was the next even day. And I remember that it was the last class. So I was like super excited. So Wednesday, I was so happy. I sat down because this was the last class of the day. I remember teacher telling us to pull out some paper 
and start answering this, these questions, I remember that I looked over and saw Brittany. She sat down too and opened up her binder and got some papers out. And then I saw it. The horror on my face when the horror on my face actually made it so apparent. I quickly asked her, "What did you do to my drawings?" She gave me a look of confusion and she said, "What drawing?" I flipped through her binder and pointed at my drawing. Now let me go into detail. My drawing was some made-up girl. It was simple. She had a halo and short shaggy hair. I really focused more on eyes like any beginner would. I think that's how everybody starts drawing. Anyways, so what she did to my drawing was very, very obvious. She erased my name and signed hers. Like you could actually see my name imprinted in the paper underneath stuff. The eyes were erased too and she tried poorly to draw her own eyes. Which again was so bad and I, you just could see my old drawing underneath. I guess her eraser wasn't very good at, you know, being an eraser. She said no, clearly trying to say it was hers. We had a small argument before Shelby entered the argument as well. I thought she would take my side, but no. She actually said it was Brittany's drawing. I, I remember her seeing me give it to her, so I didn't understand why, and it made me more frustrated. I told her that you saw me give the drawing to Brittany. I drew this and that you know me for a long time. I've been drawing since elementary. Shelby just completely ignored me and told me that it was Brittany's drawing. After that, the teacher noticed me and sent me outside to the hallway. And after almost a whole, uh, after almost half of the class period was over, the teacher comes out. And I remember she asked me what was going on. I told her simply that Brittany took one of Brittany has one of my drawings, messed it up, and said it was hers. Then the teacher sighed, of course, and placed one hand on her face. She said in a kind voice that I should learn from this and never give her another drawing. I told her that she still had my, draw my other drawing. Then she said let her have it because she won't be able to draw as good as me. So she won't be able to prove it was hers if she couldn't draw something similar to that drawing. The reason why she said all this was because she was my teacher, my history teacher, for three years. And she saw my drawings and she knew my passion was drawing. As I said before, my basic personality trait was drawing. So I calm down and she let me go back into the classroom. I sat down and did my work. I let her have it and I never talked to her again. I never gave out another drawing unless it was a very close friend and I trusted them. Plus I also inked it as well. I learned my lesson from that. And that really never happened until high school in my 10th grade year. So that was it. That was my story. That's why it's so hard for me to give out artwork to anyone or let alone commissions. So me talking about this story, I want to emphasize that to all the artists, and I'm not trying to take it on my behalf, I understand a lot of artists, we are very sensitive about our artwork. That's where you hit us, why not artwork, you kind of destroy us. But personally, I want to say, whenever that happens, I want people to be more mature about when somebody steals their artwork. Don't go in a frenzy and get like all your friends to harass one person because they stole your artwork. I think you should try to do your best interest of being civil and I know it's so frustrating when it happens it's just so horrible to see that they do that plus they take your business and I know a lot of times people do commissions and then somebody sells their artwork and then they start selling your artwork and they're getting more money than you and that's horrible yes I think you should take action but be civil about it don't make rants don't make all these things to bash this person i want you to understand to learn from the situation and build up a base of people who are kind and generous and will take good actions to sort out the situations we need to be more kind about things i don't want to be like oh be sensitive and sugarcoat everything you know I mean like just don't go out of your way to drive somebody into the ground just because they did one thing that eventually will become nothing like um it 
at the time it might be the best drawing you ever did, but eventually what happens is that you continue and you always improve, and guess what? That drawing's old now, and then you look back on it and say, oh my gosh, that drawing looks so bad. How did I even draw something similar to that? So that's why I take this lesson and I learn from it. I learn a lot from it. And my history teacher is a very good understanding history teacher. She told me to learn from this lesson, and I did learn from this lesson. Yeah, I was very kind of weird about my drawings, but I took very good advice from that. And I want to give that same exact advice to you. Be very human about it. Be kind. Don't make a rant on YouTube because of it. And if it does happen multiple times, I think you should have a discussion and talk about it civilly, but do not rant and bash this person just because of that one thing, okay? Well, you know what? That was pretty much it. Thank you for listening to my story and my little small uh, conversation at the very end. I hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful day and um, keep on drawing. <laughs>